been reported there in the newspapers this morning is the High Court making a decision about a sectoral employment order, basically striking down this sectoral employment order as being invalid. So the Minister for Employment, and this is very, very relevant because recently I have a client who's a plumber, a plumbing contractor, and recently had an inspection from the Workplace Relations Commission investigation branch, and they insisted that he have inserted in the contract of employment, which I drafted for the client, the reference to the sectoral employment order for the mechanical and uh, construction services or whatever it was, but it was relevant to the plumbing industry. I had to redo the contracts and uh, redo the contract and send it back to him and I incorporated that sectoral employment order, which ironically now, a fortnight later, has been held to be invalid and has been struck down. This sectoral employment order uh, mandated that all workers uh, to whom it applies must enter a pension scheme whose terms are no less favourable than those set out in the construction workers' pension scheme. The Association of Plumbing and Heating Contractors in Ireland, they represent employers in the sector. They challenged it and claimed that a similar provision was struck down by the Supreme Court in June 2021. So on Tuesday then this week, for the plaintiffs, uh, counsel told the court that the dispute had been resolved. The minister's senior counsel uh, said his client was consenting to an order quashing the 2018 sectoral employment order for the mechanical engineering billing services contracting sector. That's very, very significant, especially for the likes of uh, plumbers and anybody involved who would be affected. I've had another client who was affected by this order as well, who would have been engaged in a sort of a construction related activity. This concession comes on grounds that the provision requiring relevant workers to be entered into a pension scheme which was no less favourable than the CWPS scheme is invalid and outside the powers of the Industrial Relations Amendment Act of 2015. The judge granted the order in the terms agreed and struck out the action. This is the third uh, sexual employment order to be quashed by the courts in the last three years. Nationally binding sectoral employment orders are made under the 2015 Act when either employers or trade unions apply to the Labour Court to examine pay and conditions for a defined economic sector. The Labour Court may then make a recommendation to the Minister for Employment for a sectoral employment order and the Minister can then opt to fix statutory conditions. The union then um, and Albright claimed that affected uh, employers faced criminal sanction in the event of non-compliance with an enforcement order pertaining to the terms of an unconstitutional sectoral employment order. An individual has brought a claim to the WRC against Albright in relation to compliance with the sectoral employment order of the applicants alleged. So obviously that individual's claim to the WRC is going to be in great difficulty now when the piece of legislation on which he's relying or the order on which he's relying, the regulation on which he's relying has been struck down as being unlawful and unconstitutional. Alan Duffy, then the managing director of Albright, said it would be wholly inconsistent with the proper administration of justice to allow his firm to be prosecuted under an SEO that contains precisely the same provisions that the Supreme Court determined was beyond the powers of the 2015 Act. Mr Duffy claimed that he as a director was liable to criminal prosecution if he did not comply with an order to obey the SEO. That's an interesting decision. As I say, it will affect everybody, employees and employers in the construction sector, in the uh, plumbing sector and whatever other sectors are uh, affected by that particular SEO which has now been held to be invalid and has been struck down.